In this video, we're going to learn about tibbles. When the dplyr package interacts with a data frame, it's going to generally produce a tibble. So what exactly is a tibble? A tibble is supposed to be a modern reimagining of our standard data frame, which I'm going to call data.frame for clarity. So this is the class of the usual data frame that you construct using base R. And the actual class of a tibble is actually tbl underscore df, which stands for tibble data frame. One of the interesting features of a tibble is that it is technically also a data frame, but all, though it has different default behaviors. What that means practically is that if a function is able to take a data frame, it should also be able to take a tibble, making it much easier to use them when interacting with other packages. Tibbles come from the tibble package, which is automatically imported by the dplyr package. So when you load the dplyr package, by default, you have access to many of the capabilities of a tibble, though loading the tibble package directly may provide additional functionality you don't get with dplyr alone. Now let's talk about some of the differences between a tibble and a data frame. Generally, a tibble is a more restrictive data frame in comparison with the base data.frame. It may seem odd to prefer a data frame with more restrictive behavior, but in fact, this makes it easier to use the data frame because the stricter requirements prevent you from making mistakes that will lead to bugs in your code.